in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 15 it says looking carefully let en lest anyone fall short of the grace of God lest any root of bitterness springing up causing trouble and by this many people defiled in Acts chapter 8 verse 23 apostle Peter says to Simon the sorcerer he says for I see you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity if you allow bitterness to creep into your heart what bitterness will do is it bitterness is the only root that has all kinds of fruits bitterness can produce witchcraft bitterness can produce sexual immorality bitterness can produce homosexuality bitterness is so deadly because it can produce any kind of fruit for Simon it was witchcraft and Peter is saying you repented of witchcraft but he says your problem is you're bitter on inside that's why you did witchcraft and bitterness you still have it he says because now because of this bitterness you want to buy the gift of the Holy Spirit so you can sell the Holy Spirit to become rich and famous and he says the root of it is bitterness bitterness is more deadly than any other sin because it produces any kind of sin it wants be very careful to protect bitterness in your heart protecting feelings instead of protecting your future protecting feelings instead of protecting God's blessing in your life there is three ways that we deal with bitterness that are wrong number one is we medicate it with food sex alcohol gambling when we try to medicate our pain some people do it through TV, others through food, some through gambling, some through sex and some through alcohol, others through weed. When you are so full of pain and you are trying to medicate that pain. The wrong way number two that we deal with pain is that when we motivate it by working ourselves to death. By thinking if I just work harder in life it will go away. If I just work harder in life I won't have time to think about it. There's a difference between diligence and drivefulness. When you drive yourself to death. Diligence is when you work hard but you know when to stop. But when you are working yourself to death you never stop. And many people they work themselves to death trying to cope with their pain. Not realizing the harder you work the more you're going to lose. Because your pain will eventually lead to sins which will steal everything you work for. And way number three that we deal with pain that is wrong is when we meditate it we rehearse it how could they do it we replay it it's on a constant replay in our mind the hurt and the pain that people have caused to us and when you meditate your pain listen it won't go away the way you deal with bitterness the way you deal with pain three simple steps number one you face it admit you're hurting admit that what happened in a family you're not fine it's okay to tell other people you're fine make sure you don't lie to yourself respect yourself enough to admit the truth face it number two you have to forgive you have to forgive people who hurt you sometimes you have to keep on forgiving don't wait for their apology don't wait for them to say I'm sorry Jesus did not wait for Pharisees to apologize before he forgave them on the cross don't think forgiving them means you and them are fine no sometimes forgiving them means nothing to them but it means everything to you forgiving is setting the captive free and then realizing you were the captive forgiveness not because it's right it's because it sets you free it gives you it doesn't change the past it enlarges your future if you opt out for revenge make sure you build two graves bitterness is the acid that always kills its container run for forgiveness no matter how painful it is it doesn't make sense but it's the only way to experience the favor of God and number three to deal with our pain is follow Christ away from it the only way you can get away from your pain is not by changing your zip code it's not by blocking some people on Facebook it's not by unfriending some people or unfollowing them on Instagram or Twitter the only way is follow Christ so radically that he leads you away from that pain can somebody say amen